a rare black spider cove box. This doesn't come very often. Hello everybody, Claymore here again and I got a new knife to look at. Obviously the title tells us what this is about. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 Sprint Run with the Spy 27 Blade Steel. This is quite a unique blade among the releases because this one's got a laser etched blade, American flag. This release was met with a lot of criticisms because not everyone was a fan of this laser printing on the blade partnered with the Colorado flag on the G10 scales. Not a fan either. The price is kind of a big turn off and it's only released in the Spyderco website which is not a very nice scenario. But I bought one anyway. <laughs> what the hell. Alright, before we go further, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and like the videos if, if they do make sense. And that would be cool. There's not much we can say about the Spider Co Paramilitary 2 because there's a ton of videos, reviews about the Paramilitary 2. This just happens to be in a different blade steel. This is the CPM Spy 27, which is exclusive to Spider Co. Everything else when it comes to shape, the blade, the shape of the handle, the mechanisms involved in it, they are just the same with the other Parrot 2. What is unique about this one is I think this is the first release that's got this kind of a laser edge on it, on the blade. This video is a little bit late because this knife was released like a month ago. And it's just that I'm here in the Philippines. And you know, it takes some time for the goodies from America to get tear. So this is my second Spyderco with a Spy 27 blade steel. The first one is the Parathrew Lightweight. I haven't used and abused it much, so I, I don't have much to say about this blade steel. Now the design on this one, it's a flowing American flag. I love it. Now how about the handle? This is the Colorado flag and there is nothing wrong about it. Except that, at least for me, it doesn't complement each other. I mean the blade and the handle. If it's got some texturing or some printout, some color combinations on the handle, I would have wanted my blade to be plain. Now if the blade has some etchings, maybe forced patina or acid etch, I want my handle to be of a plain color so that's one of my issue here too much is going on with this knife so what is left to do is to replace the scales I would have wanted to replace this with a purple scales to match with the blue part of the flag here but I have messed up with my purple scales here red scales will also do because of the red uh, edge here but I already got two red colored scales and I don't want a lot of you know duplication. So the option left is to put a white handle scales. And I got this one. This is from the KF and E company, some kind of a 3D molded scales. I forgot what's the correct name for this material. Something like a PVC or it's plastic. I would have wanted a fancier scales for this one because this is a pricey para 2 but I've spent a lot for this one already so would I really want to buy an expensive scales for this one like an Aramis or whatever I don't know so let's break it down and see what it's gonna look after replacing the handle scales <laughs> Now to the tricky part of removing this lanyard tube. Oh, one pops out. There you go. So this is a blurple scales underneath. Yep. 
no need to spend extra money for that tool for the lanyard too been a while since I have disassembled and assembled a parrot too so little difficulty here just a little this scale material is pretty light I think this is going to be my lightest PM2 so here it is now Let's swipe it a bit clean it up this scales didn't even get to stay overnight I just cannot stand this horrible combination so there you go did it look better okay so I think this would really pop out if I anodize this blue so I think that's about it it's kind of late in the night but I just cannot wait till the morning to you know replace this I like this better now this is gonna get dirty real fast though this white thing nah, I got no problem with that so thank you very much for watching stay safe everyone stay sharp till next time